Oh, thanks for that, mate. No worries, no worries. Are you about to do that thing? <laughs> what do you mean? You're about bloody break the fourth wall again, aren't you? Oh, are we supposed to tell a good story if you keep breaking that bloody fourth wall? Georgie, it'll be right. It's got to be done. It's got to be done. Oh, bloody hell, right then. Get it done with. So me and George just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that helped with the fundraiser. We raised over £3,000 and every single one of you are incredible. So thank you. Thank you so much for that. It, it absolutely made my week. So thanks to everyone that donated. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Thanks, everybody. That's incredible. You're all bloody incredible. You definitely this time didn't bloody faff, did you? Eh? <laughs> I don't think they faffed at all, George. Well, oh, agree with you there. I also just want to thank everyone, because last month I had an incredible amount of views on the channel, and I think I had over 200,000 views from people that weren't subscribed. A lot of them as well are returning viewers, so you're coming back to watch the series. I just want to thank you for that, but also I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button. It is free to do, and it won't cost absolutely anything, but what it will do is help my channel out a lot. So I really would appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button. Also hit the thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video. But yeah, please take your time to hit the subscribe button. It really will mean a lot to me. Well, wow, bloody hell, stop faffing. Come on, hit the subscribe button. George, you can't say that. I bloody say what I want. What are they doing? Hit that bloody subscribe button. Come on, stop faffing. <laughs> right, before we get back on the other side of the fourth wall, I just want to say a big hello to Olivia. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate it, me and Scroft do, and we just want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch the videos and support the channel. So, big hello to Olivia. Thank you very much for the support. Yeah, thanks, Olivia. Right, George, there's something outside I want to show you. What, what are you on about? Come on, I'll show it you now. Me and Keith got you a present. Oh, bloody hell fire. This doesn't sound good. <laughs> it's better than good. Oh, God. What have you and Keith done now? Come out here and have a look. I'm bloody behind you. All right then, you ready? I'm ready, come on. What the bloody hell's that thing? I am not getting in that. You've got no hope, absolutely no hope in that. What? You two think you're bloody hilarious, don't you? Bloody hell, why did you buy that brand new? No, no, I got it second hand. We're not going to buy it brand new, are we? Me and, me and Keith were just worried about you, and we thought, you know, we'd get you a little mobility scooter so you can get around. Bloody mobility scooter! Right, well, that's it, that is. I'll get you two back for this, I'll tell you now. <laughs> what are you on about? This is our piao. I even got a basket on the front when you go get your donuts. You bloody cheeky bugger! I'll go get what I want. I don't need a bloody mobility scooter. I've got my truck. I could still walk down there. I tell you this now, I'll race you. I'll race you down there. No, I don't want to race you down there. I'm not Ross. You bloody cheeky. I'm telling you, you and Keith, that's it. This is war. Absolute war. <laughs> hey, look, it's pretty good for second hand as well, George. I don't care if it's good. You've put me name on the back. Oh, my God. Everyone will know it's mine now. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? It's also, you know, just in case you forget as well. Bloody hell, fire scruff. You, what? Oh, man, I'm not having that. I'm not having it. <laughs> well, we've got it now. It's yours. Oh, you honor having that. You can take that bloody thing off it as well. No, it's it's personalised, George. Look out. Do you know a lot of people love one of them? I am not getting on that. Well, I will then. What are you doing? Well, if you're not going to get on it, I will. Bloody hell, scruff. Get back here now. Come on, let's go have a look at the uh, the yard anyway. We haven't talked about it much, and I need to get off soon. Bloody hell, why are you, are you actually going to drive down on that? I am, why not? Oh my god, I, I think you're losing. I'm not, come on. Bloody hell, why are you, let me have a go. I thought you said you didn't want it. No, I don't need that. Come on, George. Come on, stop faffing. Oh, bloody stop faffing. I'll leave it here for him. I'm sure he'll use it. 
I can hear you laughing. Well, what, what do you expect? You would have done the exact same thing, George. Well, oh, you've got a point. In fact, do you know what? I'm proud of you. It's a pretty good joke. <laughs> I bet I see you on that. I bet any money you get some use out of that. I don't know about that. At least it has got a basket, though. George, I, gu I guarantee I'll see you going down the main road on that. Get some donuts. <laughs> don't sound like a bad idea, actually. Anyway, come on. You've done a good job of this, George. I'll tell you that. I checked it out while you were, you know, in hospital, but I think they've done a good job. Well, I've had a quick look. It's not bad. What do you mean it's not bad? What do you expect? This is what you paid him do. I know, but now it's done, I think it's just... I don't know. It's a bit open, isn't it? It's lost some character. What do you expect, George? You took all the shrubbery out, the tree, and then you've asked them to concrete it. I know, but I did it for us, because, you know, the bloody mud. I know, I know why you've done it. It's not a bad idea, but... I mean, it's going to look like that, isn't it? Well, I know why, but... I just didn't picture it in my head. Are you telling me you don't like it now? No, I don't like it. Oh, my God, George. <laughs> well, you kind of go back now, can you? I know, buddy, that. God almighty, you think I'm dumb or something? I know I kind of go back, but I don't know. I just think we need to put something here. What like? Well, I don't know, do I? All I know is we're using it as a track here, so we can't block that way, we can't block that way. We're putting bales over there. I don't know, maybe it'll be better when we get more bales. Maybe. I mean, it's not entirely level as well, George, so we can't really build anything on here. And if we did it, it'd cost you a lot more to do, just to level it out. Well, I don't know, bloody no. Well, what if we get more calves and we need some igloo space? We could put some down here. Well, that's a good shout. Never thought though. Well, we could put some igloos, couldn't we? When we get some more bales, it might look a bit better. I don't know, it just looks a bit... flat. Flat? It's concrete, George. I bloody know it's concrete. It just looks flat and open and bloody... Do you know what? You stress me out and I've told you. I can't get as stressed out anymore. That's on you, that is, George. Well, I'm off. See you in a bit. <laughs> See you in a bit, then. Oi, I'm going to go take the harvester. I bloody know you've told me four times. Just get it done already. I'm fed up of bloody listening to you. <laughs> so much for George not getting stressed. <laughs> well, at least he's got his mobility scooter to get round on now. He'll love that. He'll love that. Right, let's get down. Let's get it sorted. Luckily, Keith's lent me the trailer. I think it might be Kevin's. So I don't need to worry about that. We are going to take it to sell straight away. I think that's the best thing for us. I haven't got a silo like George. So yeah, we're going to have to take it and sell it. And I'm hoping to get the bales, bales done as well. And we're going to sell them. We're not going to keep hold of them. I need the money. Really need the money. I want to buy that mower that I've promised I'd buy off Ross. So yeah. All right, come on, girl. There we go. Tell you what, been a good harvester this has. What Keith was telling me is it worked an absolute treat. We're all hooked up, just checking everything's right. It's going to be a bit of a trek with this, so I just want to make sure we're definitely hooked up properly. It doesn't look like Beanie's here as well, does it? We should check on Winnie. Let's just check on the food and water for Winnie, just to make sure he's all right. I do know I'm meeting Beanie later, so she should be down at some point. Looks like Winnie does need a clean. All right, Winnie. Don't worry, she'll be here soon. She'll give you a clean. Been rolling around in the mud. Anyway, let's get this down. Get this harvest done. I mean, it's been it's going to be the first time in a while we pick up, hopefully, a decent income. And I want to buy that mower so we can go and help out other farmers and earn a bit of extra cash. George seemed all right with it, so why not? Let's do it. And who knows? Depends on how much we pick up. We might be able to look at something else. Expand out what we can do. I never saw that before. He's got Suzanne on there as well. <laughs> what a good idea. 
I'm just glad he's alright. He did have me worried, George did. I'm really glad he's alright. Tell you that. I think we're alright that way. Yeah, he's a bit of a fool though for not telling me. He, I mean, if it wasn't for me running up to him. I wouldn't have even known he was in hospital. He probably would have just given me a bell later on, but I'm glad he told he did tell me on the phone. He did ring me up and tell me, but he didn't want me to go with him at all. So I'm just glad he's alright. He just needs to take his time a bit more. Cut back on them donuts. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna happen though. I mean I think I've seen him down there a few times since then. But we'll try to keep him calm. I think that's the best thing we can do. As long as he's not getting stressed over such stupid things, he should be fine. And let's just hope we don't have any more problems off Tim, or else that'll set him off. <laughs> that'll definitely set him off. But no, big day for me today, this is. Getting this harvest done. I'll get online, I'll see where the best price around is, and we'll just go sell it. Take, Get that money in, we'll give Ross a bell, we'll tell him we can pick it up. The mower and then yeah pretty good i'm hoping to get a little bit extra obviously because i think it was only three and a half grand i said to ross i'd buy that mower for which is a fair price but yeah if we can get a bit extra then who knows what i can look look at i did see that land for sale up by beanie that'd be nice to have my own little grass patch make a bit of silage who knows there was a couple of sheds on it as well but i probably think that's going to be well above my price range but you never know we can ask the question let's just see how we do first with this I know George got about 42 ton which is a, a lot more than me I can tell you that now right let's open up so I've got the baler George has lent me that I brought that up already and uh, yeah that's the trailer that Keith kindly lent me I think it's more like Kevin lent it me but it's good of him to do that we are a bit late on this harvest. We are a bit late, so I will check the moisture. But, got to do it today. Got to do it today. And I have waited. It's past 11 o'clock now. We have done all the morning jobs. and I didn't need to wait because there was a bit of morning dew. So we don't want to do it too early where the, the moisture is in, in the crop. We need it to the right percentage. Oh, that is a tight squeeze for this harvester. We'll park her up here for a second. Switch her off. I think I might make myself a cup of tea. And we'll check the moisture, and if it's right, we'll get going. I'm hoping by the end of the day, we'll have sold it all, we'll have done the baling, and uh, we can probably store the bales in there. It does look a bit cloudy, but I know the sun is breaking through, so it doesn't seem like there's any rain on the horizon, so we could keep the store out. But I will check the forecast before I make that call. But yeah, let's get ourselves a cup of tea and get ready for this because it's going to be a big job, an important one as well. Right, where is this bloody thing? Um, oh God, you can tell I'm rusty in this. I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. Right, it should be. There we go. <laughs> oh, man. Complete and utter noob at this. Right, so that's unfolded. There we go. There we go. Right, so I have set this up so it does show me the amount that I'm getting and also the weight, which is pretty good, I have to say. So we can add it up at the end. Might be multiple trips, but I doubt it. It's not the biggest field in the world, is it? Right, so let's just quickly check this before I want to do this safe. I mean, I probably should have moved that table but it should be alright all looks good to me and we do want to be dropping straw so we're going to have to set that up oh, I'm alright with that I don't want to stand in front of it safety first and all that right let's do this right so let's just check that's working 
Right, so we should now drop straw. I'm sure of it. Now I'm going to have to set up the tractor and trailer as well, but we'll just get going. We'll get going and test this out, I think. Try not miss anything or oh, hit the header. There we go. So we are bringing in, but for some reason that monitor's not going up. I think I have missed a spot there. I'll have to check on that. I probably don't know what I'm doing, that's the problem. But we're bringing in, there you go, we can see it. So that's, that's the main thing, we're bringing in. But it's a shame that that's not working. Hmm. Tell you what, though, this is a lot better than the harvester we had before. Much better. And for this size field, this is an easy job. An easy job. And yes, we are dropping straw, which is good. Oh, well, I'm sure this will take me a few hours, especially to do the baling as well. So we best crack on with it, aren't we? Knuckle down and get it done. We need this money. Really need this money. Hello. Hey up mate, you alright? Oh I'm alright, how are you going on? Um, not too good really. Wow, what's wrong? Well, I've only got, I think I've worked it out to be about four ton. Four ton? Bloody hell, fire, why is that? Well, I know it's a lot smaller obviously. Ah, oh, but I would have expected at least six ton, seven ton. It's not that small, is it? Well, I don't know, George. Maybe it's about right. But it's not much at all. I think it's because I harvest later on. Uh, no, I wouldn't say so. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Bloody hell, I don't know. Alright, uh, well, I got six bales of straw, so that'll top it up. Well, that's true. Well, you'll still pick up about, maybe... Well, you'll definitely get your three and a half grand, anyway. And then when you sell the bales, that'll be a little bit extra. Ah, uh, I know, I know. Just a bit, I don't know, I just expected a bit more, I guess. 
Well, maybe because you did my fields and 42 ton, you know, it's a bit of a difference, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. Right, well, I'm just going to go sell it now, and then I'm going to bring your harvester back. All right, and you're selling it now, are you? Yeah, why? Holy hell, if you wait a bit, you'll get more. I know, but I need that mower. I need that mower off Ross. All right, then. All right, I'm telling you now, you, you, you're taking in it. You could probably, well, you'd get an extra £500 a ton if you waited. Well, I wish I could. I wish I could, but uh, I've got to sell it, George. I've got to. I need to get that mower off. I, I did promise Ross, and really, I can earn quite a bit more money from getting some mowing done before, you know, before the end of mowing season. I might be able to do a few second cuts for everyone. And just letting you know. All right, and George. Well, I'll I'll see you soon. Anyway, we'll have a chat. I'll let you know how much you got. I'm gonna go take the green now. I found somewhere online, and then yeah, I'll bring the harvester back. And we'll have a good chat. Eh? Well, all right, then. Hey, you don't know if it's gonna be raining at all. Why? I wanted to leave them bales out in the field. All right, and well, I looked at it this morning, and it said we didn't have rain for the next two days, so. I'll check it again before you leave them out, though, because you know what it's like. It changes when it wants, doesn't it, really? Ah, uh, right, and I'll check, I'll check. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Well, all right, yeah, mate, see you in a bit. Ah. Uh, four ton. Yeah. I don't know if that is because we left it, or it's just... It is a small field, really. It is. But I really needed some money. I'm probably just going to get enough to to buy that mower. But well, that's a good thing at least. At least I've got a mower and I can do some work. I'll leave these gates open. Just get this sold. Yeah, four ton. I don't know, it just doesn't seem... It seems like I've got a lot less than I should. Maybe it is because of the 42 ton for George. For George. I mean, it does, you know, put everything into comparison. And Andy did call me a moped because I did expect, you know, he was saying I'll get a good harvest, but I think I've actually performed less in that field than he did. I don't know, but yeah, we can definitely improve on that. Whereas George has done really well this year. Ah, oh, well, we'll find out in a minute when we get weighed and get it sold. Right, so the best place to sell right now, online, it says here. I've never been here before, so I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking for, but that looks like some silo bins, so... I'd say if we park it about here... That should do the job, and we'll go find someone. See if we can find where the... The waypoint is as well. I'm sure we'll find someone. Let's go check in here. Hey up Ross, it's Scroft. Oh hiya buddy, how, how you getting on? Not too bad, not too bad. Oh that's alright, and hey, how, how's George? <laughs> He's alright. Bloody hell, he was bloody rude to me the other day, I'm telling you, I ain't coming to that pub again, not when he's bloody there, he's off his head he is, he never shuts up. I thought I was bloody, I thought I talked a lot, but he doesn't talk up, does he? And he goes on about himself a lot, I tell you that now, and right? sometimes I just wonder, like, what the bloody hell's wrong with him? Do you think he fell on his head when he was a young and Bloody hell, hey, Ross, just, just let, I've rang you up just to tell you that I've just got enough money to buy you that mower off you. Oh, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, forgot about that. Hey, you haven't sold it, have you? No, no, it's still here, it's still here. What did we say, 4,000? No, we didn't, we said three and a half. Oh, three and a half, did we, huh? Oh. Well, if that's what we said, then it's here, waiting for you. All right, and while I've got enough money, can I pick it up tomorrow? Ah, well, that sounds good to me. I'll have, a, I'll have a quick look at it before, and then, yeah, come down tomorrow. I'll make sure she's ready for you. All right, and Ross, thanks for that, mate. I'll uh, I'll see you in a bit, mate. All right, yeah, see you in a bit. Thanks, God. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> he goes on about George talking. Bloody hell, that guy can talk for England. <laughs> right, so, we actually got 4.8 ton, which isn't too bad. I got four and a half grand. So we've got a thousand pounds spare, and we've got to sell these bales. Do you know what? That's not bad, is it, really? 
that's not bad at all. I tell you what though, it makes me think George is probably going to take in a lot of money, a lot of money, but he has also spent quite a lot, he really has recently. So at least he's clawing back some of what he's invested. Right, so we're going to pick up the mower tomorrow off Ross, that's good news, at least we can do a bit of mowing on the side. Uh, but yeah, this is, um, we need to get this hooked up and get it back to George. We'll sort the bales out. I've had a quick look at the weather and it doesn't look like it's going to rain still, so yeah. I guess we'll just have to, you know, see what we can do really. When it comes to selling them, I'm hoping we can get some good money from it. A little bit more onto the side. I mean, it, it just depends on it again. Who's got what? Who wants what? I lined up. I think that should be alright. Just back up now. There we go, job done. Right. Let's head back, we'll go through this way, it's much easier, especially with this harvester. Probably should have come in that way. We will get back before. I have got to meet Beanie as well. I said I'd go meet her, so... I'll have to give her a bow and see if she's still... If that is still the plan, I'm sure it is. Looks clear my way. I mean, if it isn't, they're going to have to wait. There we go. Yeah, let's go drop this off and thank George for lending it us. We'll give him a bit of an update as well and just let him know how we got on. I'm actually happy with that. Four and a half grand from just under five ton. That's not bad. Not bad at all. And if George is saying what he said, which is I took a bit of a hit, when George sells, he's going to get loads. He is. He's going to make a killing. I'm happy for him. I really am. He spent a lot of money, George has, recently, on the farm, investing in stuff. It's about time he got it back. Oh, <sighs> at least that's both the harvest done. Done all George bales as well. So it really is just our bales left. He's got to be inside, unless he's bombing around on his scooter. <laughs> I doubt it. He'll use that when no one's here, I guarantee you. Are you around, George? Well, I'm in here. All right, and I thought you might be outside on that scooter. <laughs> you got bloody no hope, it's stupid, that is. <laughs> How'd you get on, then? Not bad, George, honestly. All right, and go on, tell me the numbers, then. Right, well, I got 4.8 tonne and I made four and a half grand. Bloody hell for you. You would have made more than that if you waited. I know that, but I need that mower, don't I? So I had to do it. I know, I know why you did it. I'm just saying. Well, bloody done to say. Oh, oh, bloody hell, touchy, aren't we? Well, I know, but that's the best I could do, George. Hey, you did all right. Don't beat yourself up. I'm, I'm not. I just, you know, just... I wanted to make money, didn't I? I'm trying to do stuff. Bloody do stuff? You do enough stuff. Half of it's dumb. <laughs> Well, I'm trying to not do dumb stuff then. <laughs> you not do dumb stuff. That'll be the day. <laughs> Cheers, George. I appreciate your encouragement, you know, your motivational speeches. Bloody hell, fire. I tell you, <laughs> you do work wonders, don't you? What are you trying to say? Without me, you'd be lost. <laughs> probably, probably. Listen, I've just said you've done well. You've done well. Don't beat yourself up. Four and a half grand, you'll buy that mower, you'll earn a bit more. You've still got six bales to sell, you'll make a bit of money from that. It's not bad. Think about it. You've got a small field there, Scroft. You can't really expect much else. I know, I know. And stop being bloody impatient, right? Within time, you'll get what you want in life. But it takes hard work, dedication, and you can't just quit. You know, it's not like you'll blink and then all of a sudden you've got it all. I know that, I know, I know. Tell you're still young, can't you? <laughs> Right, well, your harvest is out there. I really appreciate you lending me that. Well, no worries, mate. I told you I would. Don't mind that. Your bale is still at mine, but I'll bring it back. I've also got to bring back that trailer for Keith, so I'll do a few trips. But I'm going to go meet Beanie now. I said I would. Well, ah, enjoy yourself. Don't worry about it. Everything's good. You pick up that mower, everything will be fine. I know, I know. Nice one, George. Appreciate it. No worries, buddy. Have a good night. <laughs> 
Hey, and say hi to Beanie for me. Will do, will do. See you later. See in a bit. Hello? Hiya, Beanie. You right? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Not bad, not bad. I'm all done for the day. Are we still on for tonight? Of course. I'm pretty much ready whenever you are. Okay, well, I'll head up now then. Um, Give me 20 minutes and I'll be with you. Perfect. See you soon. See you, Beanie. There we go. There we go. Ooh. I think it's time just to chill out. It's been an odd day. We've done quite a bit. George is right, really. I think I'm just being a bit impatient, aren't I? These things will happen over time. I think I was just aiming a bit too high too soon. But we'll get there. Surely, we'll get there. Like George says, work hard. It's bound to happen. I'm looking forward to getting out for a few drinks, though. I'll tell you that. Should be a nice night. Hi, mate, you alright? Right, I just had to look at this while Beanie's getting ready. She said she won't be a few minutes, but we are walking to the pub anyway, so... I think it's a different pub as well, one I've not been to. For sale. They don't mind me having a quick nose in here, but I just wanted to have a little look around. I mean, it's not a bad patch of grass. I need to find out how much this is. A few sheds, you know, not not the best, are they? But they'll do. Maybe I can knock them down. Yeah, look, someone's using it to store logs. But I think it's the grass that's important to me. It's not a bad size, is it? it really isn't. Oh, there's Beanie. Let's go. Hmm, interesting though. Maybe we can have a look at getting this. I don't know. You're right there. I'm just having a look in here, Beanie. Why? Are you interested? I am. I am actually. I mean, you don't know how long this has been up for sale, do you? Oh gosh, maybe about a month or so. Not long. A month. Um. Well, it's obviously not sold. I need to find out how much it is, Beanie, because I could do some work on this grass, couldn't I? Now, you've got, now I've got my mower. Yeah, you could. Bit of pocket money, I suppose. No, that's true. A few sheds as well. And I'd be pretty close to you, wouldn't I? <laughs> yeah, you would. And that wouldn't be too much of a bad thing, would it? No, not at all. Right, well... I'll, get, I'll have a look. I'll find out how much it is, and then yeah, we'll, we'll see. It's going to be one of them. I don't, I don't want to move where I am. I'm, I'm happy, but if I can have it, you know, to put a bit of my farm equipment on, I think uh, it'd be nice. But I guess it just depends how much they want, really. Yeah, well, it won't hurt. Have a look, will it? Yeah, exactly. Right, let's head to the pub, eh, Beanie? Yeah, sounds like a plan. I'll follow you, cause. I haven't really got a clue where this second pub is. No worries, it's not too far away.
Thank you. 